click here, taking a look at the dyno graph, it's pretty much the same power, 248 pound-feet of torque, and we made 263, 264 horsepower. So that's to be expected. We didn't change anything with spark timing, and it didn't look like our, our actual fuel changed a whole lot. We can see where our tracer was showing us right now. If we, As we stopped our log, we can see our tracer showing us here. We start it right around here, um, our volumetric flow ratio here, about 80 to 87. We're operating right about in here. We can see that our white tracer is kind of plotting through our table here. So let's go in and let's go save our data log here. Jump back into our log. Let's save this real quick. File, save as. Let's go to Dino Pool 2. Let's label this very clearly. And then we'll go ahead and clear our log out. We don't need to keep it in there for anything. Minimize that. Go here to File. Go to Open. Jump into our Dino Pool 2. And we'll see here. Um, we'll go ask us if we want to go load it. We'll load it. We already created our channels here, so it simply loaded the data log in place of the other one. So taking a look here, we're going to find that um, it did richen up maybe a slight bit. You can see 13.1, we see 13.6 here, 12 eighths the target. We're going to be seeing uh, 13.75, 13.39. So what that's going to be telling me is I have to go and probably go into my mass airflow sensor curve, or I could go into my fuel compensation table and start to increase the value. What I'm going to do is actually try to absorb this into the mass airflow sensor curve and not touch my fuel compensation table. So what I'll do here for the target or fuel, get rid of it for the time being, Let's jump into math volt. We should have log that in our, here we go. Uh, taking a look here, I should have had mass airflow sensor voltage. And if we didn't log that, we're gonna have to do another pool and actually log that real quick here. Yes. It looks like this is showing us the math volt. So uh, 3.94, 4.45, 4.44. So that's going to be where we're at in our mass airflow sensor curve if we're kind of uh, going into figuring out where we want to apply our changes to. So we can see right here 12.9, 12.8, 2.9 volts. So we don't have to make any changes there. But as we get up here and a little bit higher, 3.28, 3.55, we can see our target was at 12.8. We're at 13.5, 13.3 air fuel here. So we need to go ahead from 13.5 volts and higher and go ahead and update our math curve and go ahead and richen it up. So what we'll have to do here is click off real-time tuning. We'll go to cancel. If we go cancel here, we're going to be seeing that that now is able to be edited. We can see ECU ready. We're going to go into our math curve here. Again, about 3.52. That's going to be about close to where we were at. Highlight our curve here. And we need to probably go and 